right back here. And you can watch her scoot her little booty along. Look at you. Look how big you are. Oh my goodness. So big. <gasps> you gonna inch forward a little bit? Just rocking and rolling? Yeah. You're so strong. <laughs> little workout, huh? Oh, all right, now you can watch her inch army crawl. <laughs> She's the best. Okay, hi party people. Welcome to today. What are we doing? Uh, we are actually planning on going and having a family dinner slash lunch slash barbecue. It's gonna be outside. We're gonna try to practice all the social distancing. It's the first time we've done this in months, obviously because of quarantine, but we thought things are opening back up. Let's see how this goes. So we always do a theme. This time, it's barbecue, and I thought I would share with you the recipes that I'm making. Amazing recipes, I might add. Uh, the world's best baked beans, so says Alex. I don't know, are they? I mean, they're really good. Uh, my family gobbles them up, so we're gonna make a big batch. Also, some really kicked up corn. I found this recipe, I don't know, a month or so ago, and I've made it a few times since. It's really good, really, really simple recipes, but like, amazing nonetheless. What else are we making? Oh, you know what we have to get started on pronto is the strawberry shortcake sheet pan bars. I don't know what they're called. I hope they're amazing. They look amazing. I need to get those in the oven because we literally need to leave in one hour. So hopefully those are cool in time. The good news is they only take like 15 minutes to bake. Aren't you just chilling on your back? And then later today when we get home, I think I'm gonna tidy up my linen closets. I can't be certain, no promises, okay? We're gonna do something, I'm just not sure what. Also, I'm gonna bring, well, I'll, I'll get there when we get there. Let's start on these strawberry shortcake bars. I hope I have some strawberries left. I bought a ton. Oh, man, I hope I have some left. Let's check out the fridge. Okay, literally running around my house. We have an hour before we have to leave. This is real time, people. This is real life. I got this sheet pan a few days ago from Amazon. Oh, I guess I have to wash it. Oh man, I should have lied to you and told you I already washed it. But I thought it was just so fitting. I said like we got it. I bought this sheet pan. We need another one, it's huge. It's like a 20 by 15 or something. 21 by 15, it's the same one we have. Wilton, I thought it was funny because it came with whoopie pies on the cover. And I was like, wow, they really know me. <laughs> they really cater to their audience. Okay, we need to whip these up. I took out all the ingredients earlier this morning expecting sweet Meredith to sleep alone during her nap, but did she do that? No, she slept right on top of me despite my efforts to put her down. <sighs> Babies. All right, let me wash it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, great, wonderful. Let's move things along here. My printer is not working. It is working, but every time I use it, I have to put in the password, and it's just like a five minute ordeal. So instead, I chicken scratch, wrote down the recipe, but I'll link it down below for you. What do I need? I'm gonna use my KitchenAid. No one has time to mix with their hands right now. Oh, I said I got everything ready, but I lied. The Flour's not down, the sugar's not down. Oh, there's water in here. Not anymore. Oh, the oven. I didn't write down what degree I need it at. I'm hoping 350 will suffice. Do I have to butter the pan? I'll do that with the excess butter. You guys know this hack? It's a life hack. You take the peel of the butter, whatever this is called, the plastic sheet. What the heck is it called? The skin of the butter? <laughs> the wrapper. Oh my gosh, is there a fly in here? Get out of my face. All right, that's all buttered like a pro. Sugar. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, honey, honey. Let's get this going. How much sugar? Mm, two cups. That's how you know it's gonna be good. You know why I decided to make these? I thought they would be healthier than the alternative. I was going to make sheet pan sugar cookie bars drooling, am I right? But like this still has two cups of sugar. Okay, I'm gonna whip it up. Turbo speed. All right, that looks good. No time for scraping. We're gonna do four eggs in this mamma jamma. A two. Oh gosh, oh, 
Uh-oh, need a second hand. Nope, I've got it. Got the skills. My skills are unmatched. <laughs> and no shells. All right. Uh, down we go. I'm sure you incorporate these one at a time, but we don't have time. I was going to make these last night. Oh, a little vanilla. Whoop. Okay, I did scrape down the sides because I am a professional. Oh, that looks delicious. Is that good enough whipping? I'm sure the real directions tell me how long I'm supposed to do this, but I didn't write them down. <laughs> I just wrote down the ingredients. Good enough. Here we go with the flour. Five cups of flour going in, and by George, if I don't have five cups of flour in here, that's just too bad Sally Ryder because there's no way I have time to go out in my garage. Oh, how many cups was that? I was talking three, I think. Oh, I don't know if I have five cups, you guys. Oh, heck yeah, I do. Perfect. It's like they knew I needed to make this recipe. Uh-oh, looks a little full there. We don't want a flower shower. Nice and slow. And then we whip it. Oh, crap. Hold on, baking soda. Hold up, wait a minute. We need half a teaspoon baking soda. Now we can go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot the salt, but we'll get over it. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Yeah, that, that looks great. That looks, well I'm not, I don't know how what it's supposed to look like, but good enough for me. Okay, now we're gonna spread it on this sheet pan. Oh wow, this is thick. Oh, really? It's thick but I like it that way. I'm gonna oil my hands, maybe just one. I don't know if that's necessary, probably is. You spread it across the whole sheet pan. I underestimated how long this would take. This better be worth it. Okay, seriously, how long did that take? I don't wanna talk about it. Into the oven. It is less than perfect, but it's what I like to call good enough. Moving on to the baked beans. I browned up some ground beef, a pound, and then an onion. It was pretty small. Ooh, my crock pot is hot. And then I'm gonna throw in some baked beans. I have three cans. They're like the smaller, normal size cans, but you can use large ones if you have that, or two or one if you're not serving a bunch of people. Then I have a can of great northern beans. You can use any bean that you like, cannellini beans if you have it. I was gonna do two cans of either Great Northern or cannellini or any white bean. Lima beans would be really good, but I have black beans to use up. And this recipe, the first time I made it, um, I had like leftover black beans. It was basically like a leftover bean dish, but it was delicious. I had leftover taco meat, which is what I used. So when I say use what you have, that's, I, I mean it, it's serious. All right, what's next? Ooh, don't have a recipe for this one either, but I'm using bacon crumbles. How much you ask? I don't know, that much, plus this much. And hey, why not? Go big or go home, right? If I had to guess the measurement on that, it would be, I don't know, three handfuls, exactly. And then you add in what makes this dish delicious, some brown sugar. Add brown sugar to anything and it's so good. I don't know, three spoonfuls, guys. Don't, don't leave your measuring cups in the cupboard, okay? This is not the time nor the place to have a measuring cup. And I don't know why I do this. Well, mostly because my aunt told me this is the secret to really good baked beans. You can add it to anything, just a little bit of mustard. The mustard brown sugar and secret ingredient, the ketchup. Just add some mustard and ketchup and brown sugar. Those are like the, that's the trifecta to make baked beans delicious. So says my Aunt Judy, I don't know. All right, give this a good mix. And I think that's it. I'm gonna sit here for a second and Think about it. Ooh, you know what would be really good in this? I mean, you can add salt and pepper if you want, but how about a can of like, what are those green peppers, green chilies? That would be really good. But we're just gonna leave it as is. Where's the lid? Pop a top on that and let it sit. Okay, onto the corn recipe. And I like to do crock pot stuff when I'm going places because it's just easier to keep it warm. I have two cans of corn. And since I'm feeding a crowd, I'm also going to add a bag of frozen corn. Ooh, that's a lot of corn. Hopefully they like it. Hopefully the frozen corn has time to warm up. Super simple recipe, a few tablespoons of corn. Again, do I measure? No. Is it delicious? 
Yes. You know what? I might add more butter than that. Okay, no I won't. The original recipe says three cups of corn, two tablespoons butter, oh, man. and one tablespoon of ranch seasoning. It looks like that. I'm going to do two tablespoons because I feel like I've pretty much doubled the recipe. Kind of. I don't know what's in that ranch seasoning, but it sure is delicious. And then for the kicker, I'm going to waste some really nice quality Parmesan cheese. The recipe says half a cup shredded. You can use like the dust stuff if that's what you have. I think I've used that before. I'm just going to do that much. Oh, there's only a little left. Should I dump it in? Maybe I'll garnish with this. And that's it. Super simple side dish. Great for any day of the week. Okay, I'm just making a list of all the things I need to grab before we leave the house. Otherwise, if I don't have a list, I'll forget it. So, let's whip up. Oh, good, it's ready. No, it's not. Five, five more minutes. I wish I had five more minutes. I like him on American Idol. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, I need to refer back to my ingredient list. I guess we just whip it all up, I don't know. Oh, my bowl, I have to wash it. I don't wanna. Yeah, I definitely should have made these last night. But I thought, I have to share them with you. I just know, I have a feeling they're gonna be fantastic. How can they not be? They have two cups of sugar and strawberries and whipped cream. I got high hopes. And cream cheese. All right, so what do we do? She asked herself. Eight ounce package of cream cheese. Mm, whipped topping. You know what? They sell like birthday cake whipped topping and Oreo whipped topping. Did you know about this? They also sell dairy-free whipped topping. It's like a coconut milk. And you can also make it yourself uh, with like a can of coconut cream. Amazing. We used to do that all the time. Oh, this is nice. Oops. That's good. You want to smell it? Yeah, <laughs> you can eat that. All right. A whole container of this. Oh boy. Wait, was I supposed to whip up the cream cheese? We'll just whip it all up together. What could go wrong? Hmm. All right. Oh, also vanilla and one cup of powdered sugar. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to put this in yet, so I'm gonna hold off. Hold off on the cream. I'm gonna whip up the cream cheese. Oh no! Powdered sugar, <laughs> Cindy. I have to go to the garage. Wish we have five more minutes. One cup of powdered sugar, and I'm just gonna whip these together. Okay, that seems like something I was supposed to do. I was gonna fill this up, but we'll do that at another time. I also added some vanilla. Now I'm gonna add the whipped topping and fold it in. Look at me doing culinary things. Oh my gosh. Uh, do you see this? How is this supposed to cover that whole pan though? You know what my suggestion is? Double up on the whipped topping. Also double up on the bottom layer because that was really hard to spread out. No, not hard, it was just dumb. Took a long time, time consuming. All right, that looks good enough. And then strawberries. Okay, let's rinse these and cut them up. Oh, I didn't even set my timer. They burned. I'm just kidding. <laughs> my timer go off and I, did I, I thought I set a new timer. You know what? I'm gonna leave them in. Three minutes this time. Let me cut the strawberries. I might bring these in a separate container. Yep, gonna bring them in my handy dandy, uh, what's in here? Yuck bought this measuring cup. It has a lid. Perfect. You know what? The other day I was watching someone's Amazon favorites and they had, I'm not, man, am I going to have to cut all of these? And they had a contraption that was like, oh, slice your strawberries. And I was like, I ne have never needed that. Well, my friends, today is that day where I'm thinking, man, that would come in handy. Strawberry slicer contraption. Is it necessary? No. Does it make your life easy? I would argue yes. I should probably get a cutting board. This is great. One and a half minutes on the timer. Let's see how many strawberries I can cut up. You think I can do the whole thing in a minute and a half? Me neither. Oh my gosh, considering I can't even get this one. Ooh, 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 we got it, we got it. We just have to get a good rhythm going. There we go, here we go. Almost chopped my finger off. It would have just been the tip though, so I feel like it would have been okay. 
I still would have gone to the barbecue. That's all I'm saying. Just a good butterfly stitch. Things are getting out of hand. All right, how much time is left? Strawberries are the best part of the strawberry shortcake. Am I wrong? No. Oh my gosh, I stopped to cool that thing. Man. I'm gonna throw it in the freezer. No! All right, let me get it out. Ooh, that strawberry looks sad. You know what? I could argue I did like half of the, I did like one pound. Pretty impressed with myself. Top chef, here I come. This thing is just like not browning. Do you see this? I mean, it's not jiggly. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Do I have room in my freezer for this? Let me move some stuff around. Make room. All right, here we go. Oh gosh, what's that? Will it close? Good enough. <laughs> oh, let me turn the oven off. We got it. We got it, we got it, guys. Rolling along. We've got 30 minutes before we need to leave. I think it's gonna be a good day. Tina is at Sam's Club. They're, they have an inflatable slide. Should we get it? Oh, they have the same one. Oh, no, it's, it's whipped cream. I don't. Do I want to spend $99 on that? Ugh. They're going to use it all summer. It's not like they're not going to use it. I think we should get it. Yes, get it. Get it. I see you, you scoundrel. Little does he know there's no whipped topping on that. Cream cheese and powdered sugar, my friend. No. Mm, yes. Oh. oh my god, I might have more than four cups of strawberries. Oh, I definitely do. Might have to rethink the uh, the transport bowl situation. Or just bring four cups. Save the rest for oh, myself. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> These are good strawberries too. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Top it off right there. Lid. Man, this is so cool. Kitchen gadgets are the best. You know what I saw the other day? A watermelon kitchen gadget where it like cuts your watermelon as you scoop it. Weirdest thing. I didn't buy it because I kind of enjoy slicing. Also, I feel like most of the time my kids like to hold on to the rind. It's just a bunch of excuses, basically. Just trying to talk myself out of a purchase. Just cleaning up. Oh my God. This might be the best part of summer. What was on that? Wow. Primo. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I think I'm gonna change because I, I don't yet feel comfortable enough in these bike shorts to wear them like in front of people. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot. My shirt, if my shirt were to go down, I would feel a little bit better, but it doesn't. Oh man. How's this looking? Still hot, all right. I feel like I still have frosting on my face. Okay, got Meredith dressed here. Ooh, Memorial Day. She has a little headband that kind of looks like a poppy, but I just, you know how Alex feels about headbands, okay? I also got my new shorts on. Nice to meet you. I'm a human being who owns a pair of jean shorts. I feel like I'm moving up in the world. It's like no big deal. All right, I hope that this fits in here. Yeah, I'll make it fit. Wasn't that big of a challenge. I have something else to put in here too. Oh, so hot dog, sausage. Oh my, okay. If you've never had this chicken apple sausage, you are missing out on life. I'm showing you the back of the package. I don't want it to go flying off the shelf so there's none left for me. It's this kind, can you see it? Seriously, the best sausage. I mean, it's chicken sausage. I've only had a few chicken sausages, but this is number one. It tastes like Thanksgiving. I don't know how to explain it. It's sweeter, so if you're not into that, you won't be into these. I'm definitely into it. It's like all the best parts of Thanksgiving, to me anyway. I am also throwing in normal hot dogs. I, I don't like normal hot dogs. You know what, I do like a good charred hot dog. I don't have buns, so we're going carb free on this one. I'm sure someone else is bringing buns. I can't close it, Meredith. I need your help. Thank you. All right, I gotta ice this thing. All right, it's not cooled all the way, but we don't have any more time to spare. We have got to get going, so I'm just gonna spread, ooh, ooh, ooh. excuse me. We're gonna spread this right on top. Um, excuse me. I don't need your help with this one. Get every last bit. 
Okay. Oh, your fingers went in there. I see that. All right, do you see what I mean? The ratio of whipped topping to service area? Mm -mm. We need more, more whipped topping. Did I use the wrong size sheet pan is what I'm thinking? Uh, you guys, we're just gonna do our best here. It's what we always do. It's like melting. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna taste good, it's gonna taste good, it's gonna taste good. It better taste good. Well, look at that. A thin layer right on top. Said it once, I'll say it again. Someone call the Food Network. This is as good as it's going to get. Watch it out. Huh? Strawberries go on top of this. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at you, buddy. All right, strawberries go on top. Alex, should I put the strawberries on now? Might as well, right? Now I have to wash this. What I'm really thinking is I don't want to accidentally leave this. I'm just gonna plop them right on top here. Mostly because I have one hand. All right, cover it up. Are we good, ready to go? Yeah. We're ready. Perfect. This is perfection. Hey! Oh my gosh, a little whipped cream fell right there. What is my chin? I mean, a bon appetit. We could definitely spread these out a little more. All right, there it is. Oh, you guys, stop it right now. Don't you just want that in your mouth? Pronto. This looks so good, Alex. Hmm. Wentworth just said, I'm bleeding. I said, that's okay. It's strawberry gush, but I want him to think that I'm strong and tough. <laughs> okay. I wanted to show this to you. Oh, and it's ooey gooey glory. Do you see that stringy cheese? I'm telling you guys. Oh, the smell of this is just divine. I'm just giving it a good mix before I throw it in my car. The cheese is even stuck to the spoon. That's how good it is. I don't even really like cheese. I'm gonna give the beans a good mix. Oh, is this even warm? Oh, I stink and hope so. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Very good. If you want the sauce a little thicker, you can add like a cornstarch slurry. I think this is just good enough, you know? I'm just feeding my family, not Michelin chefs. This is the sprinkler thing I was talking about. You just hook it up to your hose and it's like a splash pad, it's awesome. I almost hey. forgot the most important thing sitting on my lap for safekeeping. We've stopped to get gas. I am so tempted to eat this. We're getting pretty close to the water. It's spitting at Meredith. <laughs> She's like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, Meredith, is, this is her first time sitting in grass. Apparently this is a thing. Oh my gosh. Hands first? That's not sitting, Dad. <laughs> She's gonna put her face in it. Oh, Meredith, I'm so sorry. What happened? Oh, not so bad anymore? Got a Power Ranger over here. Oh, wow, Meredith. You want me to get you? Do you want me to rescue you? Rescue me. Hold me in your arms. You like the grass? So we're at the barbecue. 
burping. Oh, really? Yeah. Literally the happiest baby all day until I try. Oh, Hi. what's the matter? Hi. Well, punk. All right, we're enjoying the barbecue. Good food, good, good. company, good slip and slide. It's a little, a little close there. I Out on our walk we it's been a couple days by the way I can't find my hat anywhere where is my hat um, so I'm hanging out under some shade before I go I normally walk around around three and a half miles it just it's so nice to just get outside blast some music that I enjoy like for me lately it's been Lauren Daigle it just puts me in a good mood a good mindset even just getting out of the house for like 10 minutes Soaking in that vitamin D, catching those sun rays. Actually, it's supposed to rain like every day this week. Storm clouds above me, but you know what storm clouds mean? It means that the sun isn't blazing on me at 100% capacity. It's more like eh, 60%. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go on our walk. And you know what I did this morning? I cleaned out our fridge and I did revamp our linen closet a little bit. I told you I was gonna do that. Um, I didn't film it because, well, for a couple of reasons, but like I'll show you the after and I'll explain to you what I did. I almost, okay, here we go, short story long. I almost ordered uh, like this really cute shelf off of Target to put in my linen closet. And then I thought, you know, why am I gonna spend 60 dang dollars on a shelf that no one is going to see? Who goes in my linen closet? No one, me and my husband, that's it. You know what I mean? Unless I have someone, pff, bugs, trying to get first aid out of the closet or whatever. So I thought, I have a shelf in my garage that is empty because I've been cleaning my closet since quarantine. Closet, I mean garage. I've been cleaning my garage since quarantine. So um, I had an empty, let's just chat with Meredith for a minute. I had an empty uh, shelf. So I thought, let me just throw that piece of garbage in there and make it useful. You know what I mean? Use what you have. Shop your own house first. It, aren't those the rules? Are those the rules, <laughs> Meredith? She doesn't care. Uh, and then I also had some Dollar Tree bins that worked out really well, so I'll show that to you. Maybe I'll show you my fridge. It's pretty bare, but I'm just not ready to go grocery shopping yet. I did some meal planning this morning. Uh, so basically, it's it's been a productive day. And now we're on our walk, and this time, I did not forget the water. Ooh! And it's cold, which is an added bonus. I normally, you guys know I have like 75 water bottles. Why am I carrying around this one that's disposable? I don't like it. But it was cold, so I said, okay. Also, I can't find our other water bottles. <sighs> it's a hassle. Okay, so here we go on our walk. I'd rather be running, but like, I'm not. So, there's that. By the way, do you see her little toes catching the sun right there? I feel like I should buy her a pair of shoes or something. Also, can we talk about these bicycle shorts for a moment? Like, seriously, summer leggings, summer staple, mine have pockets. It's like, how did I not know about these? They're amazing, they're comfortable. 
my thighs don't chafe. <laughs> so many positives, zero negatives. It's like a biker's best kept secret. I don't know how I didn't know about these sooner. Or, you know, I, I've known about them for a while, but I haven't tried them. So I'm just happy about it right now, okay? Meredith's got her suit on. She's ready to party. Everyone's in the pool. Meredith, honey, are you in the pool? Hi. You having a good time? Whoa. Oh, she wants that ball. You got the ball. You got it. <laughs> Meredith. Meredith. Meredith, look at me. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, oh. Oh my goodness. All right, we're home, and as promised, I'm showing you my fridge. So it doesn't look that great, and I don't have organizational bins and stuff. I mean, this is real life. I actually like when my fridge is bare and looking clean rather than when it's like fully stocked. I don't know, is that just me? Also, all the kids are in the pool right now and we have a few cousins over, but I know I told you I would share with you our uh, linen closet. So here we are. Ooh, I, I should have tidied up a little bit in here. Okay, so this is the shelf. Actually, we organized this together, you and me. Excuse me, those towels need to be there and beach towels go there. What is happening? Anyway, we organized this together, I wanna say well over a year ago. Well, not well over, just somewhat over. Well, uh, all right, well over a year, let's go with that. Anyway, I wish I would have gotten a before. Let's just push this under because who needs that in their life, am I right? Uh, no, my socks do not match. <laughs> I mean, they kind of do. They came in the same package, but I can't find the matching colors, so <sighs> that's just my life right now. I don't know. How about you guys? I, I was wearing those, <sighs> I feel like I need to say this. I was wearing those no-show socks. Uh, yeah, and they just, whenever I don't have shoes on, they just slide off my feet. So anyway, <sighs> this has taken a turn. I should have taken a before picture because you guys would not have believed what this looked like. I mean, there's just garbage all over the floor. Not garbage, but all of this crap. There's like three beach bags that we have that I liked. Oh, it's all zipped up. I like to rotate through. We've got a beach um, mat in there. It's supposed to like keep the sand off. I don't know if it really works. That basket's been in here for a while. I need to throw some toilet paper in here. That's what I need to do. Um, and then we, I had all the goggles in here. I, now I just have aloe for when we get sunburns. And then I have all of our sunscreen in there but this shelf was in our garage can you believe it I almost literally was looking at all the shelves on Target and I was like oh that one looks so decent and it was like I want to say $30 it may have been 60 I feel like that's out outrageous maybe it was more like 30 anyway I was looking at it and I thought oh my gosh it looks like something I have and lo and behold it's something exactly like what I have in my garage so I'm glad I you know, was able to throw it in here. I need to like tidy that stuff up, but that's for another day. It's like good enough, you know what I mean? Favorite part here is just my little uh, cat mug with, you know, all the medicine thing. Like, wh why do we need this many? We don't, but you know, we have it. Anyway, there I was, pretty proud of myself. Also, still really sweaty from my walk. I feel like I should jump in the pool with the kids, but like then who's gonna make dinner, you know what I mean? All right, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you had a good time with me. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. The fact that I showed you my linen closet is really weird, and I'm like double thinking. Am I even gonna add that to the video? Because it's like, I mean, if it was Pinterest quality, if it like looked nice, but I also wanna inspire you like, hey, your house doesn't have to look, look like Pinterest, or maybe I'm just telling myself so I believe it a little bit because my house looks zero percent like Pinterest. <sighs> Anyway, what's for dinner? Bye.